Whoa, back with another video, I know, right? Nah, but, <laughs> oh man, yep, about to work on another video uh, right now. I'm glad you guys liked the first vlog. It's kind of crazy. I didn't think it was going to do too, that well. It did pretty good, 100,000 views in a day. Pretty impressed. Thank you guys for supporting it and liking it. You guys want to see more, so I guess I am. But anyway, uh, I just finished this crazy beat over there. And I'm about to do the video for it on how to make it. And I'm thinking about switching things up a little bit. I know uh, my videos have been kind of the same format for a while, the breakdowns. And I noticed that they're a little bit too long. And I do say some funny ass shit in there. So I'm gonna start making my videos more like skits and just start with comments. Now you probably think, oh, Slim, well, there's so many people out there who make videos using memes and skits and pictures and doing all this. You're just trying to copy everybody else and be just like them, aren't you, Slim? I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna do me. Um, there are people who do it better than me. There are people who do it worse than me. I don't give a fuck. I'm just gonna do it what, what I like. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. You can get on my channel and go fuck yourself. Now I don't don't do that. Don't really do. But um, yeah, you can go watch these other boring ass video people out there. But I'm gonna do do it that way because hey, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be easier for me to do it that way. And yeah, and hopefully uh, my homeboy gonna come through. We're gonna, um, we're gonna be collaborating on a couple beats. So I have some you know shots of that as well. So yeah. Fuck, I'm hungry as shit. I take a shit too. I'll be right back. Let's catch y'all next the next clip. Wow. Once again, another successful video as always. This one's gonna be a little bit different, a little bit wilder, a little bit crazier than my usual videos, but I think a lot of you guys might like it because it's gonna be very entertaining. That's one thing that a lot of people don't understand. It's not about giving, it's not always about giving the best information. Like, of course you wanna give good information, don't get me wrong. But also you want to make your videos entertaining. I can't stand these videos where, you know, the people are like super boring and don't know what the fuck they're talking about or just just dragging on 30 minute videos on something that takes you two minutes to do. That shit is fucking stupid. And anybody who do this fucking lame as fucking, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. So, you know, look, look at this, you know, see all that? I don't know if you can see it, but I mean, it's like fucking, let's see, 10, yeah, that's bright as shit. But I got a bunch of cuts and all that going in my videos and all kind of crazy shit. Like, like I take fucking pride in my videos and doing it right and making them look as the best as possible. And I salute anybody out there who's doing the same thing on their videos. You know, getting memes and doing stupid shit to their videos. Shout out to you guys. It's cool. Yeah, you'll like this video. Cloud rap, bitches. And yeah, my hair looks like a fucking hot. I got a bowl cut, boy. I mean, like I got a fucking like I got. Late relaxed or whatever, lay you back. She look cool though, man. Look, I need to shave a little bit. You know, I'm looking a little bit wolf gang over here, you know. But I'm a man. Men have beards, bitch. I'm on. I'm young as fuck. I like. I look an old ass fucking man. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So it is what it is. And you know, I'm having fun with my videos. And I, I enjoy doing it. So I'm about to go pop some pills and smoke and drink and all that. I was like, what you got? I'm about to get up the video. Huh. So apparently, you guys really like my how to make a cloud wrap video that was kind of goofy and silly as fuck really appreciate it. like i said i just uploaded and already sitting in like you know 16 you know 1600 views a thousand views in like a couple of hours not even a couple of hours just a few hours so that makes me feel like you know you guys really enjoy that type of video editing and shit and it was, it was fun like i said the main thing about them videos is they're they're fucking entertaining as hell and that's what i like to do make videos that are fucking entertaining i don't even care about making videos that well i do care about being made as, as informative but as long as you guys enjoy it and can watch the whole thing through and have a good time that's what really matters and i'm glad so thank you guys for appreciate that i will definitely do more stupid shit like that because i'm a stupid motherfucking producer and that's what we do right make stupid shits so yeah appreciate it uh yeah so i'm sitting here it's like 12 o'clock in the morning right now something like that and I'm reading comments and stuff like that. You know, I like to look at like late at night, I like to go through my comments and you know, reply to people. And you know, people are saying they like my videos and all that, support, ask questions. I try to get back to as many people as possible. I know, I know I get a lot of like comments and all that. I don't get back to everybody, but you know, I try to get back to many people. And I'm just looking at all like, there's people on there like that. There's a bunch of support. I like that. There's a bunch of support, and I do appreciate that. That's, that's all great and everything I, I like when people support my videos but and the hate is real though and it's like but it's a thing though I, I'm I mean I used to remember back and I'm starting like a motherfucker but I'm remembering back when I used to cut take criticism worth a damn like if somebody said 
something about my beats or my videos or anything. I just take it to heart and get so pissed off about it. And now I'm just like, okay, like your point. Like now it's to the point to where there's a difference between criticism and, you know, just straight up hate. Um, criticism, people are saying, you know, like they try to get pointers and help out. Like, well, this wasn't this or I, that's cool. I don't mind that. I can take that. But then the hate is what's real. It's like, man, like, like your sole purpose is just to go to people's videos and hate on what they're doing. Like, who does that? Like, honestly, I don't hate on nobody's video. I only, if I don't have a positive thing to say about somebody's video, I leave a comment on my video. I don't leave one. Like, if I don't have nothing positive to say, like, if I don't have, like, saying that for stuff, I like that, good idea, or just anything like that, support worth anything that, I don't leave a comment. But it's funny that you got these people who actually take the time to sit there and think of a hateful comment or something to say on your video. Like, that, like that's, like, you come to that point to where you're that, you're that stupid or lonely or retarded of a person to where you have, or you're that salty to where you got to leave a hateful comment on somebody's video, like... And then actually the people who hate on me, I actually go to their videos. I, I say, I'm gonna go check out their channel because they're, they're talking shit about me. Obviously their stuff is better than mine probably, right? Wrong, half the time this shit be worse than mine. Worse than a lot of people, like worse than a bunch of beginners and stuff like that. And I'm sitting there like, why hate on me when you still got a long way to go with your stuff? Don't hate. If you got something hateful to say to somebody, just keep on moving, just don't. Like that's one thing I should, that you all should do. If you don't like what somebody's saying, or what they're putting out there, anything like that. Learn from my mistakes. Don't hate. Just let it go. Like if th at this point in time, you gotta just be like, whatever. In this day and age, you know, it is what it is. Somebody's gonna be better than you always. There's always gonna be somebody better than you in, er in anything. It don't matter what it is. There's somebody better than you. So just deal with it. Keep it moving. Just do you. That's what I do. Like I don't care if people are better than me. If somebody better than me. Good for them. High five. You know. It's cool. I don't care. I'm still going to do me regardless of what people think and what people say. So that's me. But yeah, I just want to say that. Now I'm going to start making some beats. So yeah. Nah, I'll fuck with y'all. Yo, what's up? Your boy Slam once again. It's different. Back in the studio. About to get down with some beats. Got my homeboy Trey Smash over there. What's going on? What's going on, man? Trey Smash is different, man. Get in this for real, man. I'm telling you, we about to, we about to get some work in. We're going to take y'all on this journey. You know, making this new wave. Probably gonna stop here and there, talk some real shit, cause you know, you know, we be having a good conversation, you know. We thought, you know, just share this shit, you know, you know, to all the people. Um, I know you guys enjoying these vlogs and everything like that, you know. We got some more, we're gonna have a ton more now, a ton more, and shit, y'all just better be ready for it. Like, it's gonna be, you know, knowledge, fun, beats, you know, tips and tricks, you know, I don't know. Fuck, it's gonna yeah, be Yeah, man, pay attention to these gems we about to get y'all, man. Pay attention to these gems we about to get y'all, man. The vibe, the way we about to get y'all, man. Ain't no crazy. And also, this is just two dudes from a small town, you know, working. That's all it is, too, man. We, just, like I said, we ain't no big time like that. We just small town working, you know, doing what we gotta do, you know, trying to show people that no matter who you are, where you are, your situation, man, you can do this shit if you want, you want to. Like, I, mean, I don't care what nobody say. Don't don't let nobody tell you, you can't do shit because in the, the day you can do whatever you want to, man. You would be me in the day you can. He's got to put the work in and do it. Point blank, period. So that's what it is. All right, we'll be back. With some he about to flip a sample, motherfuckers. He about to. Yeah, yeah, y'all thought we all made trap, don't y'all? Thank you. 
Copy don't be working sometimes. Yeah. Trey, any advice for these up and coming producers trying to, you know, get up in the music game? Like, what's some good advice to follow? You know, any, any advice you can give them, man? Uh, man, always be original, man. Always be you. Be who you are, man. Be yourself, man. Stay in your own lane. Follow your own way, man. You ain't gotta follow none of these, none of these niggas just to fit in, bro. Um, don't chase no placements, man. Let placements come to you, man. I learned that a long time ago, man. Don't be chasing after these these industry ass niggas trying to get got down the, the quick fame man let that shit happen organically man and, and build from the ground up man and get it out the mud man you do that shit man you gonna have some success man for real because you got you actually got a couple of places yourself you actually had some places back in the back in the day man yeah yeah you man. know reach on the coin tie dollar sign but i'm still grinding man i'm still trying to trying to get it so you know what I'm saying just because you got placements don't mean nothing man you got to build organic relationships man and, and, and really, really stay down, man. That's all it's about, really. So what would you say about, you know, so what did she do? She just work with some local people and just build from there and just, you know, build around people in their area or, uh, or, or try to reach out farther? Like, man, reach reach out to who you think is, who you think is cool and who you think is popping because you, whatever you and, and whatever artists got between each other and if and it's, a, it's a wave and y'all feel like it's hot, then then it'll, it'll go. So you, you just got to build organic relationships, man. Fuck with whoever you fuck with, man. And if it's in the streets, if it's industry niggas, if it's niggas over the internet, man, fuck with them. And, and create your own lane and create your own way, man. That way, can't nobody say you stole their shit or, or or say you stole their sound or none of that, man. Straight up. Word. See, see. Look at that. Gems, man. Gems. I mean, you know, like you said, you know, just do it. Like, like me, like I said, I may be big on YouTube. I ain't say big on YouTube, but I'm pretty known on YouTube. Don't mean nothing. I'm still a normal person, man. I'm just trying to reach out to as many people can. Work with whatever artists. Like I said, I work with local artists, not many. Yeah. Work with a few, not many, because you know they don't want to pay. But that ain't beside the point. Money don't even matter. Like I said, money will come. 
in my opinion. Like me and Trey both learned that the hard way. Like, you know, if you just, when you chase the money, you don't really get the money. But when you just sit back, you know, just focus on your craft, your music, money just come out of nowhere. You be like, you know, what the fuck, you know? And you, then you start, they say you start building relationships, meeting new people, you know, friendships, uh, business relationships. And they might link you up with somebody else that you might not thought of linking up with that might be, you know, the next big thing. You know, I mean, just so many possibilities. Just, like I said, just take your time, focus on you. Don't get hungry. Don't 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 chase stuff. And don't try to you know not you know do stupid shit. Just and don't follow. Like I said just just do you. And the main thing, just like I said, just just do it. That's all. Also, it. man, stick to your guns, man. Stick to what you know, man. Know your worth, basically. Yeah, yeah. Stop, stop. Um, giving because everybody gotta eat, bro. We gotta eat off this shit. We buying all this equipment. We we doing this to bet ourselves, man. We gotta goddamn. We gotta eat. So stand firm on your price, man. Set your price at what you at what you think you worth, and stand on it, bro. Don't try to don't try to um don't do the whole form just to just to damn just to fit in and, and to get get money. Cause I done learned it the hard way, bro. Just cause you do that, bro, you really shortening yourself, bro. You really selling yourself short. Yeah, so so be- it's all about patience, man. For real. Yeah. So stop the whole goddamn ten beats. For damn fifteen dollars and yeah. stuff like, don't do it, man. That's that's no. If you put, if you spend an hour on each beat, they at least worth a hundred at the least. You know what I'm saying? At least each beat. So think about it, if you did, you know, ten beats, sell them for hundred dollars, you made a grand right there. Hold my math right. Yeah, you know, made, I mean, as, you know, half people yeah. don't make that, you know, a paycheck. You know, it might not sell right away, but it will. Like I said, I, I last week, I made a beat, put up on Instagram, went like that. I ain't expect to sell the, the beat, but it went like that. You know, but I, I told dude my price said, you know, he, he said, you know what? He knew I was gonna go lower. He said, you know what? I feel I like the beat, I like your work, I'll pay it, man. What's the PayPal? You know, don't be like, ah oh, man, nah, I do it for 20 bucks. No, yeah. Don't do that, don't do that, man. Cause like I said, you ain't go you ain't go to McDonald's, they came to you, you worked at McDonald's, they can be like, hey, you know what, you made 775, you know, today you, we're gonna give you 350, you know, you'll be fine yeah. with that, right? You know, same work, but you know, 350 can you know it, it, we'll let you go home early. You ain't gonna settle for that. Nah, you're gonna get you gonna get your all your money. So just exactly. know your worth, man. Know your worth. So I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, dang, um, I'm going to get back into the live stream. And so I think I am, like, today, I think I'm a live stream video. Um, this video will probably either be before or after last. I don't know. I'm probably going to see if I got enough footage to edit. Who knows? But, yeah, um, a lot of people are wondering, like, why I stopped live streaming so much? Well, one reason was I'm not probably not going to be doing the Beat Fridays, the Feedback Friday for a while. I'll probably make a full video about it. But too many people were doing um, copyright strikes on my videos with beats that they send in for me to review on the stream. So they were trying to basically get their beats heard, which is good, don't get me wrong, that's, what, that's the whole point of videos, but they're trying to take the revenue from my videos and keep it for themselves, which, nah, uh, that, that's, that's messed up. Like, you know, I'm, I'm doing this out of kindness of my heart, you know what I'm saying, it's taking hours out of my day to showcase your beats and people just want to take my revenue, like that's kind of messed up, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, I, I'm stop, I'm not gonna be doing Beat Fridays for the Beat Review Friday for a while, but I am gonna start doing the cookups again and Q and A's and stuff like that. So, yeah, and I miss streaming, man. It, it's fun. Like I like the streaming, you know, two, three hours. You know, I don't like doing too long. I like I, I can't can't stream for too long. I just don't feel like it. But I just enjoy streaming. It's fun, and you know, I want to get back into it because it, 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 I like the interactivity and I like to see the support and everything like that. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna get back into streaming, like for real, like real talk. So yeah, I mean, I'm just sitting here thinking about video right now. I ain't got no video ideas in my head. I ain't got no beat ideas right now. Probably gonna have some later on, but right now I'm just kind of stumped, but eh, we'll see, fuck it, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, that's that. Fuck it.
gonna be the last clip of this vlog before I put it out there I'm gonna edit it up after this little clip but I'm um, sitting here this morning early in the morning it's like well it's 12 a.m. I ain't fucking I ain't early as shit it's 12 p.m. it's afternoon but um I'm sitting here thinking to myself like damn man I wanna I wanna start rapping again so bad because yes that, that beat cook up I did if you ain't watch the beat cook go to my channel it's the collab beat cook I did with Trey Smash shout out to him um Dope ass beat, dope ass beat. People loved, loved it. The stream was great. We had over a hundred people in the stream watching, consistently ninety between ninety and hundred people consistently, or not a little bit over hundred consistently. So I really appreciate that and the support with that. But damn, I want to rap so bad. I was freestyling and shit like that, and I work on the beat that I'm mixing right now. Um, I was gonna make it for myself, but I fucked up. I put it on Instagram. And that's cool. I'm not mad, you know, but put on Instagram and one of my homeboys, shout out to Smitty Bars out there. He's going to be the next one. Trust me. He hit me like, bro, I need that beat. I was like, oh, damn. But it's, it's cool, though. Like, it's, it's great because, like, for one, the reason I like this because it's one's like, you know, it's kind of it's hard for me to get back into rapping because I'm always selling beats. And two, it's great to have artists out there who really fuck with your beats and want to buy full rights for your beats don't want to buy no leases i mean want full fucking rights like he said yo bro i got the money right now for full rights send me a snippet when it's done and i, I got I'm, I'm paypal ready and all that and I, I, I salute people like that so artists like that i really do appreciate and really wish a lot of artists out there had that mindset of you know if you want to take your meat to next level you gotta you know get your own sound and have your own beats and make sure nobody else can get the beat you know because what's the point of if everybody leasing a damn beat and everybody rapping over the same beat Whatever. But there are artists out there who are like, you know, fuck, I'm about to buy this beat for my damn self and make a hit off of it. And I'm going to show you that. But it, another thing, like I said, the main thing about this is like, I'm going to get back into rapping real soon. And I might start doing some vlogs of me recording songs too because, like I said, I've been freestyling like hell and getting my flow back up and I just want to get back into it. But like I said, this might be a little, I don't know. We'll see how it go. Um, but let me know, guys. Would you buy it? Would you support the album, the EP or whatever I put out there? Would you guys support it uh if you would let me know you know and all that i just want to know because like i said if y'all if i you know i want to know but yeah uh i guess i'll see y'all in the next vlog so yeah whatever peace Let's keep moving